gonna be a 5v3 right here. There's the Death Ray coming in. Snowflower's gonna get the stun off, but there's the cleanse. Sogyun comes down, but that's First Blood. Anarchy trying to run OQ flashes, but can't get after Lyra. First Blood goes to Pure. That is red buff, so that went very poorly, but okay. Mickey. There you go. There's your level two gank berry. <laughs> uh, and here we go. There we have the gank and Ixu already low. Goodbye. Watch picks up another one. It's actually OQ is pretty much spell shielding everything that Snowflower is throwing at him. And that ricochet is doing so much harass against this bottom lane from Ant Rebels Anarchy. There's just no way they can trade right now, honestly. They don't have good sustain. And OQ, look at his fearless just walking straight up. Even in the face of the anti stun just going to go ahead and spell shield. Oh, God. Oh. oh. Well. Decapitated. Yep. Honestly, Najin is playing this very well. So we take a look at this right now. He has spell shield on or off cooldown, I'm pretty sure. Waiting as long as possible until the lethal would come through. The last tick of the spirit rush, and that gives Watch time to get up here and get his ult. Mickey doesn't die if spell shield is not used in that way. Well, goodbye, Mickey. Watch picks up another kill. 3-0-0, and wow, solo kill. But this is what is so confusing about Najin. They're such a hot and cold team. In games like the one we're watching, they, they perform with such precision and teamwork, but they also tend to fall apart very quickly. It's kind of weird. Oh, so Goon going to get all in on Chaos Storm, oh, but he's going to turn it around. Lyra's there. Lyra's going to try and flash. Body Slam, he'll get out. And he's going to slow watch up. Hate Spike's still coming in. Watch has no flash. Used it earlier in the engagement, so can't get the kill. Trade one for one, but Goom with the... Oh, actually, Watch gets another kill. Oh, Watch. Oh, oh dear. Ixu is going to get fizzed again. Bye. Bye. He's Bye, got, Ixu. Uh, just got stabbed right in the back with that <laughs> trident. Switch <laughs> down onto the actual objective. And now, Watch going to find Lyra. Hello. Oh. Up oh, gravity field. And that's going to be not a stun. Chaos Storm goes down. It is late. Yep. Well. Man, oh, Mickey Force back. We're going to see another fight. Is Ixu going to die? Well, probably not. Nope. And Watch actually gets caught out, gets anti stunned right there. Goom getting bounced around by the explosive cask. He's all by himself. There's Ooh. a slash slicing Maelstrom, and the finisher is gotten by the Death Ray. Goom still low, starting to run with his Q. Kites it out. Watch with the kill. And OQ is now here. Ixu just going to TP <laughs> right back into the mid lane. Pure here. Gets the stun onto Songyun. Songyun has to leave. Duke is also here. Wow. Well, that was some sloppy play from Najin, but it just didn't matter because they are so far ahead already. Yeah, and pure... Yeah. Doesn't really matter. Their tank is not going to be doing anything. Ixu is so far down. Oh, Duke is maybe in a little bit of trouble here, but he gets the kill. Oh, man. Nice. He can 1v2. Well, maybe you'll get your wish soon. All right, Lyra trying to escape, but... He's not going to be long for this world as eventually somebody's going to cut him off. And oh, no, no, no. Anarchy has yet to get a tower this game, so he really has nowhere to go. Duke is going to be stabbing the fat man until the fat man goes down. Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. There's the ultimate from Evelyn Snowflower just going to die to a boomerang blade. They're stunned up, but he is still... Oh, look, he can get out fairly well. And will this be a, dra uh, a Baron for Najin? Please, please. About 10 minutes after they could have done Baron, they're going to do the Baron. And then... Vero doesn't have... Oh, he's going to be taken out. Yep, no chance right there. Playful Trickster will eliminate a lot of Mickey's damage. Dodge the charm, actually. Here we go. TP in, but it's not enough. Some auto attacks over the wall. Mickey wants to finish off this kill. Doesn't quite have the damage onto Cannon with the Spirit Rush. Duke coming Duke's in for a still play. along the side. He's going to try and get here, but he gets stunned immediately. <laughs> and dies. <laughs> oh, man. That was funny. Maybe maybe a little overbold. Oh, man. By he didn't Duke. He had about he didn't one third ultimate. HP. No ultimate. No ignite. Once the wave is clear, they found Lyra. Here we go. So fast. <laughs> That was just funny. That was a several on top of Righteous, Righteous Glory. Glory. Oh, man. <laughs> it was a good pick, actually. And oh, now, oh, oh nice. Back. They hit the fish onto Songyun, and there's just not much they can do. So will Najin uh, actually nope. be able to close nope. right he's now? He's going to leave us right there. Oh, leaving uh, us hanging. No, he's not. He is, he's going to go do something eventually. Here we go. Watch gets into a tangle with Biggie. Biggie oh. nearly dies instantly from the burst. Agony's Embrace not going to be enough to kill him, though. Pure has to back off. Slicing Maelstrom. Where is it? It's going to come in. Oh, it's already been used. 
Yeah, on cooldown, actually, so they're not going to get anything else from that. Uh, Oku's going to kill up Lyra, and yep, that is probably going to be the end of the game here. Yep, the uh, dragon is no, surrender. The surrender again. Death so before we, dishonor. We don't get to see the Zonia's Fizz in the base. However, this could be very, very bad for Duke. Yeah, there's the dive in. Snowflower gets the knock up into the wall. Duke is going to go down for first blood to Ixu. That is about as bad as it could go. And no uh, flashes. Wants to wrap around on this. And can they get Duke? Duke going to try and get out. He's going to E, but there's the rune prison. He's getting very low already. But that's going to be Ooh. another kill for Ixu as the rune prison's coming in for the counter gank. Watches here. He's going to see Lyra in the tri brush. Lyra oh, should have a good sense yeah. that he could get ganked right here. There it is. Coming in, slicing Maelstrom. Lyra just going to get annihilated. He definitely should not have been trying to kill that ward with his last information about where Watch was. He'll just be negated. And he's going to be stunned if he tries to go in by the slicing Maelstrom. Ixu getting pushed around by Duke, actually. Lyra's here as well. Watch comes into the top side. Duke on the run. Agony's embraces down. Oh, Goog yeah. is here. Goog is going to get the kill on Ixu. That's going to be two kills over two. Najin in just for one. Standing in base, he's thinking about coming into this one. There's the TV, he's gonna come into the mid lane. And Watch is going to die to the Ignite, looks like. Oh, oh getting very low, and Duke just can't do anything. With the Ixu there, also Pure gonna get the slicing Maelstrom, but double kill for Mickey. And Snowflower following up on the roam, but one for two trade. They get those advantages, they don't push it enough so that it allows the enemy team to get to the super late game and that six item spot in Anarchy will make a mistake and lose. Snowflower being caught out, Snowflower has to pop his ultimate. And here Snowflower's we go, coming in. in. So Pure comes in for the side, he's gonna get a big stun on a bunch of people, still falls to Mickey's Yasuo. Mickey in the back line all over OQ. They're trying to cut it out, OQ gets the last breath oh. and he gets dunked. And Duke actually takes the kill onto the Yasuo, but it's a one for three. Mickey dies, but gets the necessary damage. He's very far ahead right now. Pure Watch to get in with the flash slicing Maelstrom, so you have to be a little oh, bit careful. But Boom getting chopped up. And Mickey gonna get an ult off before he dies, but that's gonna be a pick for Najin as Mickey gets cut off. They he get the inhibitor. Game. Okay, there's a TP. They're gonna try and fight at the very least. So Anarchy trying to make up for their mistake. They're gonna try and get Ixu though. Ixu gets focused. He it's has the GA, but there's still so oh. much damage the last breath. And Anarchy gonna power on through. Can they actually finish the game right now? They're he on the no move. Mana. Oh, Mickey. So much Quadra. damage. Yeah, the Quadra's gonna come. Dude, there it is. Dude, come in, give him the Penta. Uh, he's just gonna sit there. <laughs> Dude's just sitting there. Barry, this is this is hands down one of the worst games of the season. Oh man. Absolutely appalling. What about the KTIM game? game that two. was that was at least more exciting than this one, Barry. <laughs> well, Rebels Anarchy ties up the series one to one off the back of a very fed rise, so GG. I mean, I, I can't take away from Anarchy playing the laning phase well, but that was such a baffling draft from Najin. <laughs> and then followed up by just free... No, not very much pressure in the top lane, but that may change right now as... Lyra wow, explosive lane. cast used. There's a flash body slam. Duke is definitely going to go down here. How long can he last is the question. Trying to run through some bushes, but he's only really buying time. And there you go, W, but that's not going to be enough. Notch in response this time with a dragon Ooh, on the other side of the map. And uh, not going to work. That was seen by some wards as it tore through the now. air. They're going to try a dive here. Watch coming in from behind. Death Ray goes down. They're going to teleport out immediately. Oh but there is Watch. He's going to get the kickoff. Can he get anything else? Goong is actually scrapping with Mickey oh. on the other side. Watch very low. They're going to have to body block. No, very the Q close. misses. And so Watch attempts to dive. There's Big the all fight. in. Lyra coming through. And Duke not very high HP right now. Goong still gets the kill. True shot barrage grab. will be up soon. Double kill. Oh! oh. Snipe on to watch, so two for one. Yep, and Dragon will be up in a minute 50, so we'll see if they can paint. Oh, geez. And goodbye, Mickey. Gets caught out. Pure with the play. 
Well, who will destroy the pink ward first? Oh, here we go. Yeah, try and come in here. There's a Cimarron pop. They want to get on a Snowflower. There's a play on a watch. And Pure nearly dead already on the top side. He hasn't fallen yet, though. He has his ultimate. And Duke finds Mickey and kills him. And that'll be a cleanup. That is the real danger here, is getting on to that Ezreal. And now we have Watt trying to follow through. Nice Ooh. kick backwards to catch out Ixu. And he's going to fall. There is another twisted advance. Song Yun gets caught. And a huge team fight. Four for zero. Najit can just turn on to the Baron. Goon gonna get grabbed by a... Okay. Oh... Okay. Victor does a lot of damage. Yep. Uh, another kick coming through go. right into Duke's waiting arms, or branches, I guess. <laughs> the waiting branches of Duke. Right, it was dissuaded from Faker pay playing at Anarchy with the Yasuo pick. Mm -hmm. And here we go, they want to get on to Mickey. There is no home guard, there is a glory, but Actually, that barrel was popped early, so there was no slow. And now, oh, Lyra gets caught out. Bye-bye. Pure takes a chunk of damage, but that true shot barrage is now down. Now they're going to go on to the Baron. Lyra Lyra's knows. here, but Ezreal is not. Oh, messed up that ward. Okay, they knew it was coming in. Oki just going to spell shield it. Well, they still have two smites, does Anarchy, but very far away. Yeah, and actually they just get scared. They want to fight right here. There's oh, the flank, and he's going to get on to Sangyu immediately. And Duke is all alone, Twisted though. Twisted advance. Can Sangyu get out? Actually, has to flash. No lantern taken. Great disengage. But they did disengage well. Now Pure very, very low. Goog is so low on the outside, but Anarchy. Lyra going to get punished by the Chaos Storm as Goog escapes. Pure falls, trading that support for the jungler. But Goog not able to participate in this fight. Again, Anarchy able to kite out. They have a lot of disengage, so pulling it off in the end. Yeah, and Ixu saving the day there with his explosive cast, making sure that only Duke was in his team, and there was not enough damage to follow up on Duke's engage. OQ, they oh, want to make a pick yeah. right here. They're going to find Ixu. Ixu going to body slam out. It gets slowed by the Tempest Cripple, and Watch just not very tanky. You're going to have to flash forward from Sivir. Now Duke back onto Mickey. Mickey has no mana. Mickey is most likely dead here, trying to get some mana back with the smite. Nope. And dead. Double kill for OQ on the flash play as they punish Ixu's kind of cavalier recall. Yep. Well, they, Lyra snuffs them out with his tremor sense. Oh, watch making a big flank coming in. And there we go. Duke finds his way out of Mickey, oh. and there's a Chaos Storm Goon coming in for the flank, and Mickey just gets destroyed. Song Yun, the next target. There's no more damage from Anarchy, and they will just be mopped up. Lyra has the GA, so they're going to have to kill him one more time. But there are no angels except what? those to guide Lyra to heaven. <laughs> well, looks like X is dead. Oh, surrender. Uh, surrender will close out the series. They <laughs> push up. Uh oh, Smeb is here. They've got the speed. Flash twisted advance and Ooh. nice pillar. The kill to Hojin just bottling him up. And they got both summoners from Frozen on that gank. They're going to try and return the damage onto Prey. Prey is dead. Yep. So good answer by I am Rewind. Obviously there's a lot of risks and I, I would not recommend rain overing it and going for Warrior Enchant like every game on Rek'Sai. <laughs> I think that's not a good plan. Uh, look at this, Tucson with a very nice invade. Uh, Victor is in the top side. They're going to try and hunt down Expression. Expression trying to get away through his the enemy jungle right now. I don't think he's going to make it, but they're going to take the dragon as a result. Well, uh, Expression very, very low. His flash has just been used. Oh. Moving forward. Run, Q. run. Oh, oh dragon boy. buff. Oh. Aww. And now the fight, actually, Ku decided to engage on this in of the bottom side. I don't know about this. Smeb comes in, but Smeb is going to get Ooh. very low. And Ku trying to fight on the other side of the map in a 4v4 ends up in a disaster. Well, unfortunately, Two three of those. A bunch of those kills, rather. Two of them, I think, went on to the support and the jungler. So maybe not the most ideal place, but Expression looks like he's in a lot of trouble. And you just can't get out of this. Everybody is too fast. There's too much crowd control. You are going to go down if you're pushed out. You don't have this. He's going to run around in circles. <laughs> trying to drag it out as long as possible. All right, here we're going to go on to Expression. There's the Sivir Ultimate. Going to dodge the Boomerang Blade with the pool. Expression going to flash over the wall. Takes an extra turret hit, though. Um, he just stops. He knows he's dead. <laughs> we stop for it in the base right now. 
I am doing the smart thing, just continually pushing up the mid wave. Well, Expression wasn't showing himself on the map to also threaten a teleport himself. However, it has shown in the lane. All right, Kuro actually gets hooked right there, and a huge play. Kuro nearly dying instantly, gets the Chaos Storm down there before he actually dies, and that's going to be a kill under Rek'Sai, but it's still a big melee. Smab is in the front, like Kuro is still going to be able to poke from the rear. Expression is Zonia in pool, but gets killed on the outside of it, and there goes the Ku Tigers. They turn around the fight. Kuro magically doesn't die right there and that, that this makes game all the very heavily even that right there just using the recall timings to maintain the pressure and just constantly being elusive and choosing the right fights in the mid game yep and victor will be split pushing and oh long time goes for to engage and there we go gorilla getting hooked but ignar has nothing left actually prey is just gonna free auto attack in the back oh, oh. man easiest fight ever for prey and kuro from. there from the flank Forces Expression to go into that pool, and then Zonia's, and will he die when he comes out? Chaos Storm still turning, but two members die, actually. Prey and Gorilla bite the dust. Smeb barely getting out. Okay, Ku wants this. They're going to be seen. This is a great position for Ku, able to kite right now. TP coming in from the front, so that's going to be really kiteable as IM goes in, and there's Smeb already on top of Ignar. Kuro and Prey all the, in the back line, but Expression trying to zone him out right now, already uses Zonius. No one has even touched Smeb in that front line. Goodbye, Expression. And that is why you can't engage Ku Tigers from the front with this composition. There is just no backline threat unless Kuro and Prey like face check it as Ooh. Good denial of the recall and flash. Well, yeah, no, it looked like Frozen had a lot of, you know, was getting a lot of free hits in the back, but he just wasn't doing enough damage to Smeb and Hojin there. No, they're way too tanky. And without the backline threat, uh, Prey and Kuro will put out much more damage. Well, Tucson trying to put himself in position for a possible Baron steal. He's got to do something, otherwise this will be a death knell for him, but oh. You were saying? Yep. <laughs> Uh, he had to go for it. It was a nice there try. There isn't enough yeah. upside to his split pushing to justify the pick. Oh, here he goes. Expression might... Looks like he's going to die again here. The Zonia's Hourglass is up, but that's just going to leave him ready for... Right for the picking. And Ku picks off Expression once again and will take this turret. It's not the parallel universe, perhaps. And here we go. Just going to dive now that they know they're on the turret. And there's nothing IM can do. That the Sivirult has been popped, maybe they could try and turn around. There's a nice Hemo Plague, actually, but Ooh, there go Prey and Kuro just going to flash right out of it. And again, Kuro and Prey just left untouched in the back line. Frozen pops his Zonia's Hourglass, finally has one. He is going to flash out and then use his Q and his, or his W and his E, rather, to get back to the fountain. Try and get a kill on him with that trophy. Well, uh, it's just not going to be enough. Ku Tiger is going to take game one, another Impressive sh display of shot calling from behind. Some questionable fights early from the two Tigers, <laughs> but they really did pull it together. Did, did he actually come out of the bush right there? Wisdom. Oh, actually, Ingar going to go in. Oh, boy. They did not expect Wisdom to be there. Wisdom going to get the slow off. Rage is going to valve forward Ignar. He's knocked up by the tornado. Ignar is dead. Uh, but will he be able to equalize with the kill of his own? Ray Eight trying to get on. out of here. Tucson going oh. in, but a double kill. And Tucson now stuck there as another tornado. Wow, I am really all in on that one. Is there going to be enough follow-up flash? And there's another flash from Gorilla and Ooh. an auto attack for the finisher. Wow, that was... That was kind of crazy for I am to keep. You can see that Wisdom is walking into the lane. They really want to bait the all-in from Apple oh, with the no, Ignite. Oh, dive. wow. Oh, that is bold. So no fish beans. They just want to go all the way through the Twisted Advance uh. and slam bam. That's going to be a dead We see fit. two people in the top lane. Oh, they're going to go for this. Wisdom's there also. Tusa gets oh, isolated yeah. and crowd control. There is the barrel coming through. Gorilla is here. Smeb. Going to get headbutted backwards. Apple knocked up and exhausted. So there's almost no damage coming out of IM. Three man knock up, but it's not going to be enough. Here comes Frozen. There is the Chaos Storm. Ooh. Nice kill from Frozen onto Smeb. But it is a one for one. 
and the end as Tucson gets a little. Here we go, dive coming into the bottom side. Tucson going to make his move alongside Apple. They want to get Ugh. this teleport. Gorilla is certainly going to fall. Not by a lot, though. Not by a lot. Not yes. by a lot. And not really in a way that's going to immediately impact them either. That first dragon going over really isn't that bad. And okay, there we go. Frozen going to get up. Oh, the anti synergy. <laughs> The anti-synergy was to get some more damage onto the mid lane turret. Right, Everyone collapsing. Fight. Apple has the exhaust onto him. Prey dealing a significant amount of damage. It's still a 2v3. But Prey us. is in the powers by Can he actually get oh. a kill? Gorilla going to bounce people away with the monsoon. It's not going to be enough, but are they going to lose a turret for it? It has begun. Oh, Tucson actually getting way too far up and just uh, slowed with the W from Jana. Ooh. Now Wisdom going to go and breaks everyone apart. There's no true shot barrage. Remember, Prey has to get out of that fight immediately. Apple is going to TP in, but then Playful Trickster his way out of combat. Smeb still in the front line, and there's a gravity field swirling next to the Koo Tigers in that river. Smeb still going in, and he's going to get the kill onto Apple. Kuro with the aggressive E forward, but no one going to punish him for it. And that's right as the dragon okay, comes well, up. Ray just going to try and solo Frozen. He gets stunned. Not sure about that one. <laughs> what was up with that one? He wanted the sweet all in with the Blade of the Ruin King. Oh, oh boy. Oh. You know, we just got so excited for nothing. All right, Prey. I see a little cam of him, but Kuro is all alone. Kuro's going to go down to this Lucian, this wacky, wacky Lucian. I mean, wacky between Lucian his does runes and masteries. And is oh dear. Uh, Smeb gets caught, but getting caught is relative when you're Maokai. Actually, can Smeb get out of this? He's actually been stunned through. There we go. It's going to turn the fight now. Tucson is going to get hit. And there is the explosive cast just to shatter the enemy lines. And they barely disengage with that. Ignar gets actually stuffed by a tornado with his headbutt. So he can't get the combo. Fighting in that choke point against a Jan is probably not the best wow, thing you could Gorilla be doing. Wow, Gorilla saved but that fight. Wisdom, I have no Ooh, idea what Wisdom is doing. Smab's he's coming back. Smab is back, baby. And he's here to take on Roar. Gets the DMW onto him. Actually, that's a flash from Ezreal. They're still fighting oh, here. God. Prey is low, but Kuro still spitting out some damage from the side. And that's going to be Frozen with the kill. Double Frozen kill for Frozen. For Kuro. Kuro with a triple, triple kill. kill. Can he keep going? Where's his E? There's a Q onto Victor, and a true shot barrage zones him out, but that's going to be it. Kuro nope. doesn't get the quadra. He gets the triple, and that is it. He's and if only he, getting stronger. And gets that true. elixir of sorcery on top of it. His ult is going to do true damage to the entire team. Wisdom gets caught out. Wisdom gets stunned by the Victor gravity field, and that's Ooh. going to be a pick. Gorilla also may be falling, and he dies to the Lucian. Let's go Lucian. ahead and give up a Baron here. This has to be done so cautiously by IF. The poke oh, yeah. from Kuro is so terrifying. With that MR shred, this could easily be Kuro killing everybody. Smeb is still full HP. I don't know if IM could do this. Well, his True Shot Barrage isn't has, up yet. It's he also up has now. this fight. Here's the True Shot Barrage coming through. It will be a Baron for IM. Smeb still in the mix, though. Ignar trying to zone out. But look how low IM is. Can they actually turn this? The poke Exhaust. is still coming in. And there's a kill for Ezra. Kuro's just in the middle of everything. Oh, he man. will die, but Ku Prey is still alive. Man, this build from Lucian makes me miss the old AD carry itemization where he had the 180. Oh, Tucson just going to get knocked out of his unburrow. Smeb still playing it. There's a monsoon backwards, and there's a true shot barrage. Hits Roar right oh in the front. My. Holy cow, that's a lot of damage. Kuro's too far forward. Starts getting hit by the culling. Has to back off. Kuro takes a bunch of poke. That was so much damage from just one ability. But this is that situation. Oh, the snipe over the wall. Well, gets the ward down, even though the ward was lensed. Ooh, not a very good true shot barrage. Only hits Roar. Wisdom still on the zone. And there goes Victor. No more flash means Smeb has the perfect time to engage. And Prey and Ezreal just outputting ridiculous damage from the back line. Prey's going to take oh, out dear. Apple. There are the rockets. Flash forward for Prey. One more rocket. Can he get it? Uses the summoner heal, but can't hit to get the last hit onto Rek'Sai. Oh. Ooh. Here comes the boom, boys. 
The style points, Wisdom with the flash ult, Roar the last man standing. And with his calling down and 20 second plus death timer from long as I am, this is surely the end of the game. And the full HP Maokai to tank all of the turrets. Smite used to clear out a few of those minions, and that's gonna be it. Koo Tigers come on through with another 2-0 victory, extending their win streak to 13 games and eight consecutive best of threes.